What is going on you guys? Uh, this is Fiordy and today I want to talk to you guys about a game that I've been anticipating since last year, The Evil Within. Now I'm a huge fan of horror survival games and it all started with Resident Evil and as I'm pretty sure that if you load those type of games it also started right there because I mean that was the origin of survival horror games <laughs> with Resident Evil and the creator was none other than Shinji Mikami which is going to be the director for this game. Now this has me already, you know, looking really looking forward to the game since I heard about that. I really have high expectation of this game to be bringing back the game to its roots. The environment felt really horror like a movie and it also played like a horror game because, you know, you were limited to resources. You couldn't just go on and blast every zombie. You had to, you know, be careful. You, know, you couldn't take that many hordes at a time. You had to take one at a time if you don't want to survive. Every time I play that shit, I always ran away when I saw more than two zombies. Now you guys know how what happened to Resident Evil 5 and 6 where you know they became more of action instead of horror survivor games which you know Resident Evil was you know known for. And they were trying to cater a wide range of consumers or gamers or you know wh whatever the target of the demographic they were trying to you know cater to you know they strayed away from what they were originally you know known for which was so horror survivor games. And that is one of the main concerns that I had when you know I heard about Evil Within and that you know the creator of Resident Evil. But now what I heard from, you know, people, their impressions of the demo, the two demos that they were showcased on the PAX East, that it had become more action. And I was like, no, you know, I was like angrily, you know, <laughs> in my mind, like, no, what the hell are you doing? Like, I thought it was going to go back to its roots. And now, like, I've been reading around that, you know, most people have been saying this and it's not just one person randomly, you know, saying, you know, I hate this because yeah, 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 whatever, without any base. So first, there was two demos. The first one, uh, it started off, you know, like a modern city, and then there were the player was walking down, the buildings was like, you know, falling off, earthquake and stuff like that, right? That, that looks pretty cool, you know. And then it feels like an atmosphere, you know, where you know you don't know what's gonna happen. Now and then, the thing that had me worried when I heard about this is this part, where you know the player is armed to the teeth. You know, basically has a shotgun, a sniper, a bow. I am like, what the hell? Like, I thought this was gonna be a survival horror game. You're not supposed to have that much ammo, that many guns, that many resources. You know, to like get through. And then uh, one of the one of the articles I I read, like they said that they had zombies. I'm like, what the hell? This game is zombies? Like, I did not know it had zombies on it. I thought it was like like some supernatural element to it. You know, more than less than zombies and the, the you know the character you know he was just walking like in the middle just blasting them away and they supposedly that they were not dying I don't know what is the deal with that you know I mean I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more things known about this later on because I mean they haven't really talked about it too much you know this is just the first impressions of people that had with the game in the demo now that it already tells me that this game is gonna have too much action which is not a it's not a bad thing, but it's a bad thing because this game is supposed to be a horror survival game. You're not supposed to have that much ammo, you know, that gives you a sense of security. This game is not supposed to give you that. It's supposed to give you the, a sense of helplessness, you know, trying to survive, you know, like, uh, you know, be tense and stuff like that. That gives you uh, that sense of, fuck, you know, I can just blast anybody and just fuck it, you know. <laughs> That's not what Resident Evil is known for or, it, this, or the creators were known for, or especially the genres horror survival is not known for and uh, it's unfortunately that it's, it's starting to look that way I'm still keeping my hopes up you know that it turns out you know differently and the second part where you know most people were being seen of the guy with the head like he has a safe box and he top his head and he's like huge guy with like a huge hammer sh thing like that you know he's chasing you and that you basically you know just try to run away from that I mean that looks like it's back to this horror survival game which you know, uh, you're in an enclosed space, you know, you have someone chasing you, you don't know where to go, you can't get away from them. Uh, that looks like it's heading the right way, but again, the guy still has, like, you know, weapons on him. He's, he has a bow, and he's shooting at the monster, you know, and he can technically, you know, fight it off. And, ah, uh, man, it's just, it's looking worse and worse by the time we get closer to the release date, which is August. Uh, I'm still keeping my fingers crossed. Hopefully, you know, all of this is just, you know, some people overreacting, but sometimes, you know, there's a lot of truth into it. And, um, but there's still some good stuff. I heard, you know, that the environment looks good. It looks, it feels like Resident Evil. Uh, but 
one again there was another negative part about that though that the character's expression doesn't react or anything to the environment to the situation and that's a bad thing because i mean you know you want to feel that extra sense of fear tense stress you know on your character because then that translates to you feeling it in a way kind of like outlast you know where the character when he got scared you you heard his heavy breathing that added extra the type of atmosphere of the horror games like a movie now you guys hopefully i haven't you know got your hopes down <laughs> because i was it this brought my you know my anticipation a little lower but i am still looking forward to the game just let me know anything down in the comment box if you guys have anything you know to say or add to the stuff yeah, because i definitely want to hear your thoughts about it and as well as you know i'll leave the uh, some of the articles that I read are down in the description box if you guys, you know, want to pick it up for yourself and see, you know, what it's all about. Alright, you guys, and remember that this was uh, Fear D. I'll be seeing you guys later. Please.